Welcome to lesson 2 of our unit of exponentiation. We will focus on writing numbers in exponential form with the prime number as the base. So we need first of all remember what a prime number is. A prime number is that number with only two factors. Some examples include 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and others. Now, in lesson 1, we saw that in an exponential number like this, 5 is called exponent, whereas 3 is called base. Now, basically for this lesson, we want to make sure that the base is a prime number. Look at number 16. 16, it can also be written as 4 times 4. And in this case, it will be 4 squared when it is written as an exponential number. But remember, for this lesson, we want to make sure that the base is a prime number. And you can see that 4 is not a prime number. What about if we write 16 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? Then we will have it as 2 the power of 4. And in this case, we can see that 2 is a prime number. So this means that writing 16 as 2 to the power of 4, we will achieve our goal. Now, this means that if I have 16 equals 4 squared, and then I have 16 equals 2 to the power of 4, and I want to make sure that the base is a prime number, so I will take this one and leave this one. It means that this is not correct because 4 is not a prime number. Now, let's write each of the following in exponential form with the prime number as the base. Okay, so for part A, let's have 4 times 16. Okay. Now, we can have 4 times 16. We can write it as 4 times 4. Remember, 4 is not a prime number. We can write this 4 as 2 times 2. Then, we can also have these two 4s as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And finally, we get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times two. Therefore, we will get 2 to the power of 6. And finally, we will have 4 times 16 
as 2 to the power of 6. So let's check if our answer is valid. If we get 4 times 16, we get 64. Let's check if we will get 64 by getting 2 to the power of 6. You see that still we get 64. This means that our answer is correct. Okay. Part B. For part B, let's have 27 times 81. So, we can have 27 written as 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. And then, we have 81. Of course, easily we can see that 81 is 9 times 9. But remember, 9 is not a prime number. So we can move on and get our 27, which is 3 times 3 times 3. And also, we get 9 as 3 times 3, and another 9 as 3 times 3. Finally, we will get 27, which is 3 times 3 times 3, and 81, which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And finally, we will get it as 3 to the power of 7. So this means that 27 times 81 is equal to 3 to the power of 7. Let's check if our answer is valid. When I get 27 times 81, I get 2187. Also, if I get 3 to the power of 7, I get 2187. So this means that our answer is correct. Let's move on to part C. Let's have 4 to the power of 3, you can call it 4 cubed, times 6 to the power of 2, you can also call it 6 squared. Now, if we expand 4 cubed, we will have 4 times 4 times 4. And expanding 6 squared, we get 6 times 6. Remember, we must make sure that these bases are prime numbers. So instead of writing 4, let's write 2 times 2. 
2 times 2 and 2 times 2 okay then instead of writing 6 let's write 2 times 3 and 2 times 3 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 3 is 6 okay so in the end you see that we will have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 these are 6 times then also times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 so you can see that we have 2 how many times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 to the power of 8 times 3 squared okay so this means that Four cubed times six squared equals two to the power eight times three squared. So you can see that at first we had four, which is not a prime number. We had six, which is not a prime number, but now we have two, which is a prime number. And we have 3, which is a prime number. Let's check if the answer is valid. Let's get 4 cubed times 6 squared. We get 2,304. And let's see 2 to the power of 8 times 3 squared. You see that still we get 2,304. So this means that our answer is correct. Let's move on to part D. Let's have 125 times 5 squared. Remember, we can write 125 as 5 times 5 times 5 and of course 5 squared is the same as 5 times 5 okay now for this case we will have 5 times 5 times 5 and then times 5 times 5 and then we will come up with 5 to the power of 5 so this means that one hundred and twenty five times 5 squared 
we will get 5 to the power of 5. Let us also check if our answer is correct. Let's get 125 times 5 squared. We get 3125. And let's get 5 to the power of 5. Still we get 3125. Therefore, our answer is correct. Okay. You can now pause the video and write these numbers in exponential form with a prime number as the base. Number one, we have four times 32. Number two, we have 49 times 343. And number three, let's have 6 squared times 4 squared. Okay. Now, if you have really answered them correctly, you should have number one as two to the power of seven. Number two as seven to the power of five. And number three, as 3 squared times 2 to the power of 6. Thanks for watching and let's wait for lesson 3.